Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We're showing you a three bedroom, two story travel trailer. This one being the biggest one that we have at the dealership. This is the 2023 Keystone Residence model 40 FLFT. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the residence and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you The Residence, a three bedroom, two story travel trailer. Now we looked at the Grand Villa about a month ago. This one's gonna be very similar, but instead of Forest River, it's gonna be Keystone. So I'm excited to see the similarities and the differences. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good. You guys loved it when we showed the Salem. So, you know, I'm really excited to show this because it is a very similar floor plan. But when I peeked on the inside, there's some like higher end features mm. and just some stuff that looks really nice. Excited to show you. I'm excited to take a look at it, Will. Well, let's begin. All right. Model is <clears throat> the Resonance by Keystone. The actual tip tip length, 40 feet, 11 inches. Dry weight is 12,910 pounds and the hitch weight is 1,445 pounds. Now, Will, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, my vehicle can handle that. Right. This is not made to be towed around. This is not right. a travel trailer. This is a destination trailer. Some people like to correct me and call it park model, or when I call it a park model, some people call it a destination. Listen, I don't know the terminology. Yeah. It is what it is. It's to go to a site, it's leave it there, and don't move. I mean, some people will move it, you know, seasonally get, yeah exactly you know so hey you move it to the campsite in the spring and move it out at fall that's the most you want to be moving it and because of that they give you a manual tongue jack not a power tongue jack propane tanks go here and your batteries go here and then look at this well this isn't even aerodynamic no it's very nice though i love the big walls the tall ceilings and that awesome glass windows yep three-year structural warranty from keystone manual stabilizing jacks because again we'll set it and forget it that's right potable water fill right there potable potable and then check out this very nice power i love that with led lights and different hang on that's cool did you see solid steps in there no but whatever it is is removable ah it is solid steps it's got to be yeah because it goes there very cool so right over here well again that's the first difference black fold up steps you guys know we don't like these and we we don't like them but for them it does give you the solid steps and they're removable because what a lot of people like to do is make the patio by the glass door yeah this is a door to the bedroom uh but we do not like those and then coming on down will again i love this feature right here this i do is so too. cool with the glass door yep and then look at these tires will they're lodestar i love those st 235-85 r16 not great tires, you know what I'm saying? Again, right. this isn't made to be driven across country. Exactly. It's made to get you to where you're going. Lodestar. There you go. And then coming on down. Oh, this one is aluminum corrugated sides, but then you do have the option to have the nice fiberglass nice. sides. Either or. Okay. Coming around the back, 50 amp service here. Not a lot of action going on outside. Right. Cable hookup right there. And then everything else, we're just keep on coming down. Okay. Just keep walking around. All right. Here's where we dump the black and gray tank. City water connection, black tank flush, outdoor shower, everything's right there. And then right here, we do have a huge 12 gallon DSI water heater. Nice. And then finishing up well. <clears throat> a little bit of storage oh, right there. there. Some steps. Look at those steps. Very nice. Well, I knew we would find them yep. together. Very nice. Oh, Will, the outside looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. And Will, you see these drips? Mm, yeah. That means the AC is on. That's a nice sight. Yes, it is. That's, oh my gosh, that's music to my ears. Yep. All right, starting up here is the bedroom. Up here is the two bedrooms. Underneath that is the bathroom. And then in the back is your kitchen 
living area and dining area. Where do you want to start? Did we start back there last time? I believe so. Then we're going to start up here this okay. time. But first, big shout out to Lipper. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Ready? Mm -hmm. Well, look at this area. I love this. Okay, first, look at all these windows. Yeah. Love the surround sound, sound, surround sound. What the heck am I saying? <laughs> love the panoramic view. Right. Ton right there is where storage um, TV is. You got power and USB. And then here we have tons of storage and drawers. Right. Imagine mountains. Or I know, river, right? You know what I'm saying? It'd be beautiful. Yes. Storage underneath there. Okay. And then storage over here. Oh. Very nice. Yep. I love how they did a closet there. Yes. Nice drawer. And then a drawer. And then over here, well, king size bed. Nice. No headboard, but there is another window there. Two lights above, and whoa, I'm not seeing any place for you to set your phone down. I know. Do you see any power? I don't. I don't see any power either. Nope. Wow. We will touch on that in a little bit. And then to wrap it up, you got a closet there, and whoa, that is where you would put your washer and dryer. Right. So you could probably do a side by side or stackable. Yes. In there. So. And then, well, we made people wait till the end last time. Right. Not this time. We like to switch it up. Okay. We're going upstairs. Here we go. Oh, yes. So I feel like I got more headspace. It me. seems like it, yeah. And then there's the second loft over there. Yep. Very small space. Oh, it's for the little kids. Right over here, it's really not that bad. Yeah, I definitely have more headspace. I bet you the bedroom might have been a little tighter for you. Well, remember too that um Oh, this, this is, is taller. taller. Yeah. Makes all the difference in the world. It does. You can put a TV there. You got that. I love how you have dump mode. Cuz I can imagine it gets pretty hot up here. Yeah. Well, toasty toasty. This is very nice. This would be my little man cave if I had this. <laughs> this is where Andre would kick me out if I was being naughty. All right. And then we have steps. Oh, me and Yuna would love it up here. We'd make a little fort together. Right. <clears throat> but those are some steep steps. They are. All right, well, show us this bathroom. Okay. We'll start with the shower. It is a radius shower step. Wamp, wamp. So, you know, the head height isn't great anyways, um, just cause you got that loft over top, but radius shower, it doesn't matter. For We're not a fan anyways. of that. Right over there is the medicine cabinet. Hey, the liquefy! Look at that! It's our brand of RV toilet treatment. It sure is. Created by us. The Match RV Review Steam. Match RV Review Steam. You can get that on Amazon, guys. Link down below. Yep. Right there we have more storage. Power. What the? Nice sink. Well, you can tell it's getting late in the day. It is. I keep, calling everything, I keep calling everything storage, except if it is storage. All right. Okay, now let me okay, sit on this. Switch. Let me sit on this storage toilet. <laughs> Porcelain. Well, this is a prime poop position. There you go. Ding, and then come back inside or give me this. Okay. So not only that, there is some. Oh, I missed that. There is some storage in here. Okay. Will, I finally got it right. There you go. It's been a long day. Yeah. Look at that awesome glass window. Very, very nice. Then, Will, what do we got going on in this kitchen? Cool. I'll start right over here. Central vac. Got a nice storage up top here, more okay. storage. Nice little coffee nook here with power uh, power and USB. Mm. Your breakers down below. You're right, that is perfect for coffee. It is. 
I, I really like the finishes in here a lot more than the last one that we did, to be honest. Oh, wow. Like the black and the, you know, honeycomb look, huge pantry. Wow. I just think it looks really nice. Keystone always does a good job with their interiors. They do. Nice storage up top here. Okay. Got a light right there. Cooking with contour. Mm. Convection microwave. Nice backsplash there. Three burner fury on cooktop and oven underneath. Over here again, like the black with the gold. Just looks really nice. A lot more residential, I feel like, which is nice for something like this. Great countertop space and storage underneath. Hey, Will. Yeah. Remember when I was mad at you two videos ago? <laughs> yeah. Did you realize when you opened the turkey, I didn't say turkey tested? I did. Because I was mad. <laughs> yeah. I want to apologize to America. That Sanibel, that oven was turkey tested and turkey approved. There you go. I didn't want to give you the turkey. <laughs> That's so funny. Did you notice that? How you knew I was mad? Partially. <laughs> That's funny. Storage right there. Nice wine rack on top here. And then freezer drawers here and here. We also didn't do the John Cena in that episode. I know. Was that the first indication? Yeah, yeah. I guess. Mm. No, more like the golf cart ride when you wouldn't talk at all. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we made up. Yeah. He apologized. I mean, I apologize. I mean, I, mean, I apologize. There you go. Continue on. <laughs> Will, it's not easy working with me. Right. Nice extension faucet. Fresh water right there. Love Double the Double bowl sink. Mm. Yeah, and I love the countertop. Solid surface countertop throughout the whole kitchen. I like the look here. And then got storage here. And to wrap it up, storage underneath. That's it. That's it, Will. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's time to show everybody the dinette. Okay. <laughs> Over here, Will, we have the dinette. Very nice, you can see the chairs, how they are. Yep. This is going to... There you go. There you go. Oh. You gotta pull it straight. There. Oh. There, there you, you go. go. Something like Very that. Very nice windows. I'm not going to open all of them. Actually, I do like the wooden shutters. I do too, yeah. And this table and chair is very nice. Everybody can sit around and eat. And then, Will, look at this. Wow. It looks very comfortable, very plush and cushiony. It's almost like too cushiony, to be honest. Is it? To be fair. Yep. We got the theater seat. But, like, I feel like the too cushiony will only last for a little bit right, of time. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, like, is there such a thing as too much cushion? I don't think so. Well, we noticed in our avenue that, you know, because we had to get, we had to replace one side. So on the other side, the old side, the cushion does wear. Well, so, I mean, that's also your side, so. I thought it was actually Jen's side. Well, so what are you trying to say? We're not saying that on camera. <laughs> right here, Will, is the remote holder, cup holder and everything. And well, this is very, very comfortable. And then, Will, it's time to go over here. Okay. Directly across from the theater seats, we have more storage. Nice Vizio TV with storage behind the TV. Will, if you don't have a televator, at least give me this. You right, know what I'm saying? right. Right here, we have the nice sound system with a very nice fireplace. What's nice about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. And then, Sir William, you can show that tall man storage. Okay. Nice storage up top. All the way across. Wow. And finishing up right here. Very nice. Yep. And then to wrap it all up, Will, we have a very nice sofa right here. Two end tables, power on both sides. And then again, just a little cushiony, but that is A-OK. -okay. And this does make a bed as well. Well, Will. Do you know what time it is now? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. I done made Will mad again. All right. You didn't want to say it with me. No, I wasn't going to no, you know, you, you fool think me I, once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> MSRP on stock number 275934 is $91,080. Not too bad, actually. MSRP. Sale price, I don't know it personally, but Miss Jen, if you could, Please put the sale price right there for everybody to see. And Will, whatever that sale price is, I know we can get everybody a little bit of a better price. Of course. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash 
Matt's Cash. I've linked that website down below. You can get there via mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. However you gotta get in contact with us, please do. We have a team and we'll be able to help get you guys the absolute best price in America. And just so everybody knows who's looking at this unit, if you guys want us to deliver this unit to your campsite because you don't have a big truck, we can do that Absolutely. as well. Will, without further ado, it's now time to give people three things we like and three things we don't like. Okay. What should we do first? Three things we dislike. Yes, and two of them are outside. Well, dislike number one, I don't care if this is a destination trailer. These black fold-up steps are absolutely ridiculous and unacceptable. If you are going to give me the fold-up ones, give me the aluminum ones. I do not like these steps. That is dislike number one. Well, dislike number two, I got to compare this. Yep to the competition. Competition's giving you a residential style I one. I hear ya. This one's just a traditional RV style. For me, that's a huge dislike. That's dislike number two. We'll wrap it up with dislike number three. Number three, Will. <clears throat> okay, number three for me is gonna, normally we don't harp on this too much, but there is a lot of carpet in here. Mm. So when we first walked in, I saw it in the bedroom and I'm like, you know, it's okay. Cause it's kind of trying to be more homey. It might feel nice on those cold fall days or whatever. But then I came out here, I saw it under the dinette. Dang. And I saw it right in front of the stove. Dang. It's like food and carpet just doesn't mix well. Well, I'm gonna combo that with no power outlets by the bed. Right. That, that's point. a big one for me. Yeah. You guys know I like to tick tock while I'm chilling in bed. That's right. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Easy breezy. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Yeah. Again, I prefer TV on a televator, but if you don't do that, I love how it has storage I agree. behind the TV. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely love that. It's one of my favorite features and it just makes sense. Yep. That's like number one. Well, like number two? Like number two, I'm gonna say the more residential homey feel in here. I like the residential refrigerator, the more residential looking cooktop, nicer stove, uh, um, microwave and oven, and just the colors in here. And that huge pantry behind it. huge you. pantry, yeah. I Bear. love it all. Love it. That's number two, and then Will, obviously for me, it's going to be what this unit is, is the destination trailer with the glass door and the two loft bedroom Absolutely. areas right there. This is a huge unit, extremely tall ceilings. Yes. This is like a tiny home, and that's why people love this RV. I agree. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in buying one of these units, again, go to generalrv.com. Everything's down below, or go to our website, or call the number or go into the store. And if you go into the store, make sure you tell them you love watching Matt's RV reviews. Yes. Will, is there anything you want to say? Of course. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, it's a really, really great trailer. If you have got a lot on some beautiful, beautiful property or you have a permanent site at a campground, um, again, somewhere where you're not trying to move it around a lot, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching and Will, we'll see you next time.